So I went to see the Mean Girls movie last weekend. Am I the only one who thought the outfits looked really ugly and cheap? Every outfit in the original had a very sophisticated and feminine quality. I feel like these new outfits look like some sort of caricature or like costumey version of what adults think Gen Z's wear. So today I am going to be talking about the fashion or lack thereof in the new 2024 Mean Girls movie. So this movie completely missed the mark because the plastics would never wear anything that is considered cheap or common. They're meant to be trendsetters, not trend followers. I was expecting like a Y2K theme, mini skirts, cute accessories, and heels. Why were there no heels? Not to mention they collaborated with Walmart as if Regina George would ever in her life step foot in one. Let's talk about Regina. She honestly had the ugliest outfits in my opinion. I still have PTSD from this trailer outfit. The top was so ugly and it screamed Shein. Like I feel like they thought just cause it was pink, it was fine. And not to mention in what world is Regina George wearing baggy cargos. I really could not believe it. It literally looked like 2020 Shein. Literally, it looks like this top on the website that I found for $11.39. Unfortunately, this movie dated itself with the fashion. Literally to this day, people are still analyzing the fashion from the first movie, getting inspiration from it. And these new outfits just don't have that same longevity. I guess this would be kind of a commentary on the current fashion landscape and how quickly the trend cycles move these days. But I also feel like the costume designers had the responsibility of making sure that the outfits in the movie were somewhat timeless, even if they did reflect what younger people are wearing these days. And there honestly seems to have been no care at all to make the looks look timeless. I would have imagined Regina to be in high-end clothes, maybe some some cute vintage and even like some archival pieces from the first movie because those are literally back in trend right now. I feel like Y2K is such a huge trend right now, especially considering she's supposed to be rich and privileged. So she should be wearing like cuter high end stuff. And I understand that even in the first movie, they tried to do this high-low thing. So it would be like, they'd be wearing Prada and Forever 21, so they'd mix it up. But honestly, the low these days is just really trash quality compared to the low in the early 2000s. She in today is not equivalent to Forever 21 in 2004. Like I have some vintage Forever 21 stuff and it is still like, looks really cute and good quality and like still wearable for today. I also had a lot of smoke for this all black leather outfit that Regina was wearing. It was so ugly. The jacket literally looked like plastic and the pants were so ill-fitting. Those leather pants, I like, I had nightmares about them after I watched the movie, seriously. Those leather pants were so ugly. They weren't tailored at all. They looked so ill-fitting. And I heard that apparently Renee Rapp wanted to be in pants more and that's fine, but I would have put her in maybe like a cute flare, something actually tailored and fitted. It just looked messy. And the fact that none of her clothes looked tailored also contributed to the cheap look and really undermined the unattainable aspect of what Regina George's character is supposed to be. And she just wasn't very glamorous. So Karen, going back to these trailer intro outfits, this pink button front cargo skirt that she had on was especially shocking because that's been out since literally forever ago. Like I haven't seen anyone wear something like this since maybe 2015. It, sh it just seems like they didn't care at all what they put these girls in. And then the spring fling dress that she wore, it was like this pearl long sleeve dress. It also really gave Shein, like I literally found the dress on Shein, like I was mind boggled at this. Also these heinous butterfly socks. I, I just honestly hate butterfly. So maybe that's why I just hate them so much, but the butterfly socks were awful. They looked childish. Again, where are the heels? Like there are no heels. Like. These girls are supposed to be the fashion it girls and it didn't give that like at all. I could have seen her doing the bow trend, especially considering her character in the first movie wore a bow, like cute 
bow sweater. I felt like that would have been like a cute little homage to our character and still been actually trendy and like what people are wearing today. And I also didn't like how all the plastics aesthetics were so, so different in the movie. Karen and Gretchen were basically supposed to be Regina's clothes. They were supposed to be trying to emulate her. You can tell in the first movie, they all have like a kind of a cohesive look to their outfit. There was kind of like a common thread, even though there may have been like a little bit of a difference in their personal styles. Like in the new movie, their styles were literally all over the place. Okay, so Gretchen, her outfits were probably the least offensive and they were still heinous. I did feel like she also gave Shein. I feel like her original character, even though she did follow the plastics uniform, she was a little bit more daring and interesting in her fashion. She wore like this cute, like hot pink printed dress. She wore like plaid sweater vest. She was a little bit more preppy. And then she also had that iconic Burberry skirt on, which was super cute. The movie did try to nod towards her preppy style by putting her in sweater vests, which I did appreciate, but I wore the sweater vest from Cider. And what, literally Cider is Shein's cousin. Why is she wearing that? Like, it makes no sense. I would have liked to see her in more designer cute clothes especially with her wealth due to her father inventing the toaster strudel. So Katie, the fact that she wasn't even supposed to be stylish for most of the movie is what saved her. I felt like her ugly outfits were more timeless than those try hard trendy outfits they ended up putting her in towards the end. Some of the outfits she wore once she got popular were cute though. The one she wore at her party that she threw was cute, but this outfit that she wore like once she was supposed to take over Regina's reign. She was wearing a blue long sleeve Henley top tucked into a black skater skirt. Like, <laughs> like you actually aren't serious. It gave like 2016 for real. She was supposed to be the popular girl now taking over Regina's reign and it literally gave Maxinista. And then we have Janice. Janice couldn't dress either, to be quite honest. Her original character style was more cool and alternative. She dressed like very different to emphasize the fact that she was an outsider. In the new movie, her style comes across as quite basic. Like I hate how they stripped away her gothness and I don't understand why she was dressing so trendy if she was supposed to be like outsider. Like she literally looked like people that I see like just walking around. I think her style should have been more unique. I definitely could have seen her in a lot of thrifted pieces and a lot of vintage pieces, a lot of layers and in a lot of like more indie brands and actually dressing alt, not in what she was wearing in the movie. I did like though what they did with her makeup. I liked that she was trying out like different makeup. I feel like that really worked well. And I feel like that is something that the original Janice would have done as well. So that's one good thing. I've seen a lot of people saying that teenagers dress like this in real life. So the fashion was actually good. First of all, not true. All of this is outdated. It's all very 2020. And I would hope teenagers don't dress like this anymore. I feel like all the style in the movie is considered outdated by now. And second of all, the plastics aren't even supposed to be dressing like normal teenagers. They are meant to be aspirational. They're not supposed to look like regular high schoolers and their style is not supposed to look attainable. And I honestly think most of the style that they wore in the first movie is actually what's trending now. Like those cute graphic tees and those pleated skirts, which I barely saw any of. So let me know how you guys felt about the fashion. I really feel like they really missed the mark and really missed a big opportunity to make a really iconic fashionable movie.